We are here at the Mercure Haydock Hotel, ready for my live tonight. Just arrived, about to go and get everything set up now. So we are in the room. Here's Talissa and her stall, uh, ready for everybody to, uh, to attend. Everybody with the check-in list, as you can see, with the name and ticket numbers on here. And then the room is ready for everyone to attend. 150 seats, water facilities, the merchandise right at the very top. Oh, just uh, not long now. Um, 
Is there anybody that can take that, please? At the back there. My mum's going to love you with the camera because you're like, oh, look over there. Mm. <laughs> can I hear you? Hello. There we go, I can hear you. Perfect. Can I work with you, lovely, please? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Can I just un understand that you can accept the Scott Brother 11th of March for a pattern, please? Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Okay, do you understand that his passing is quite a recent one? I feel as though we've just gone over a year since his passing. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. First and foremost, he thinks you're absolutely nutty for being here. I've got to be honest. He said there's a wedding over there. That looks like more fun. That's what he said, so. <laughs> um, okay. Do you understand the 1st of December as well with him? Yeah. Would this be like a celebration, like a birthday? Okay, thank you. His birthday, please. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. You understand he's giving me really low back pain. Um, problems with my kidney area with him. Do you understand this, please? Yeah. Now, he's not making me aware of it being like a cancer condition, but he is making me aware that there's a chronic illness or something going on there that he's causing his kidneys and his liver to have problems with. Does this make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What does that mean? I don't know what this means, but I've got to ask you. Do you understand? Hang on. So well, I don't understand it yet, right there. Okay. Do you understand that he's making me wear his ashes? Yeah. Did you lose them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't trust you with nothing, can I? He says. <laughs> Not even me. <laughs> you found back, though, he says. You know what I was going to say? You found back. Yeah, you found back. That's all right. That's all right. Um, okay, there's a. He makes me aware of Matt. Yeah. You want to say hello to Matt, please? Okay. Um, hang on, there's a couple more. Where are they? <laughs> Elaine? Yeah. No, and Elaine as well. Yeah. And a page, please. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you want to send a love to them? You understand? Did he enjoy cooking? Yeah. Or like a like, serious cook, though, like her? Oh, yeah. Did he have his own, like, knife set? Yeah. Has somebody still got his knife set? Yeah. Is there a knife missing? Yeah. <laughs> it was his favourite knife as well, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm, he's not happy about that. <laughs> okay. It's not my fault, Scott. <laughs> Um, he don't know where it's gone either, so we can't help you. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he, he doesn't think it's his fault. <laughs> um, the way that he's making me aware of this, his energy is brilliant. I've got to be honest, I feel as though <laughs> he says, if you'd have met him in life and you didn't know him, you wouldn't have approached him because he had a real resting bitch face, is what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he said, I was actually alright when you got to know me, he says. If, you, if I let you get to know me, is what he says as well. Um, he's safe and well. He needs to know <coughs> You also know of a Joan and a Tony in spirit, please? Yeah. He wants to let you know that he's reconnected really with Joan and Tony in spirit as well. Are we okay? I need to tell you to stop being so hard on yourself. Okay. And stop being so hard on him. Wanting to talk to him all the time. It's really hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, he loves you so much. Needs you to know that. Okay. Um, have you just started to try and cook more? Oh. Yeah. He says maybe practice makes okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, do him a favour. Don't be his own ashes again. Because he ain't got no more. <laughs> okay? Um, but as he draws his energy back from me, I'll leave his love with you and thank you for working with me, lovely. Thank you.
sure how I am. They think you think they make it easy, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay. At least I'm breathing tonight. That's a big I mean, honestly, that's a big thing for me. You wouldn't think it. Oh, also, I just want to ask, you like the back, can you see me alright? Because I've lost eleven pounds in three weeks, so I just probably don't <laughs> I'm just going to make sure, right, it's alright, okay. Nothing to do with my height, nothing, no. I was going to do this bare foot tonight, because I've got new trainers and they're right, but I was thinking those couple of inches are just going to happen, just a little bit. Okay, so I have got a Claire stepping forward, and she's making it very known to me, it's Claire without an eye. Um, it's how she's making me wear this. Um, She's giving me a really severe headache. Um, and the 29th of October is relevant as well, please. Is there anybody that can say that, please? Can I work with you? Yeah? Can you see them all right over there? Yeah. Can I work with you? If you think it's for you, we'll find out, won't we? You can take a Claire that's past the spirit, yeah? She, you understand the really severe headache that she's giving me here? Do you understand that she's talking about a caravan? Do you understand this? Yeah. I guess I'm with you from the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I work with you? Yes. Thank you. Um, with my eyes massively is how she's making me aware of it. She makes me feel as though when she talked about the camera and she was on holiday and there was like a collapse or there was something to do with the, the brain behind the eyes is how she's making me aware of this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. You understand the 29th of October? That feels like a passive the 29th of October. Yeah. Okay. She feels way too young to have taken a jade spirit when she did. You understand this as well, please, okay. Now, as she makes me aware of this, this problem with her head, um, I'm seeing her being where I feel as though she was rushed to the hospital pretty much straight away from this. You understand this as well? Yeah. But I'm seeing from this to her passing, I'm just seeing a period of a couple of weeks is how she's making me aware of that. Does that make sense, yeah? yeah. She's showing me a scalpel. Now, a scalpel to me means surgery, but she showed me two of them. Did she have two surgeries, please? Not sure, but she did have surgery. Okay. You understand she had four boys? You understand this, please? Yeah? Okay. She wants to send love to her boys, please. Please do send love to her boys. She couldn't let this opportunity pass up tonight. Um, were you not meant to be here? No. Okay. Because <laughs> she's saying, I made this up, you know, she's saying, I really did make this up, and that's how it's coming across. Does that make sense, then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She, she wants to talk about her boys. She wants to tell me their names. So I'm going to try for you. Do you understand Jack? Yeah. Harry? Yeah. Alfie? Oh, no. And Oscar? Oh, yeah. Is that all four, please? Oh, yeah. yeah, four of them? Okay, thank you. She wants to send all of her love to her boys, please. Can you let them know mummy's okay? Let them know mummy's okay. Um, She's no longer suffering with any of this. It's really important that I get that across. Um, I feel as though there was no time, obviously with it only being a couple of weeks from what happened to her passing, there was no time to really get your head around what was going on. Um, she wants to send a lot of love to you. She wants to send a lot of love 
to everybody that's been helping out with the boys as well, and a lot of appreciation in, in, in terms of this as well. Um, is Jack the oldest? Okay, with I feel like Jack at the moment is having difficulties around him at the moment. That's how I'm being made aware of this. Um, she's going, she's helping from her end. Is how she's making me aware of this. She had. Um, she really needs to tell you that when you have a butterfly near you, this is her. Okay, and this is her sign to you. Okay, especially when they land very close to you or even on you, but that's that's her sign for you. Okay. And the family, this is her, okay? Um, she's safe and well. Um, oh. um, she's sorry she didn't know what was going on. You understand? There was a lot of confusion after it, it almost. Yeah. Um, she makes me feel, did she lose any power to any of her, her limbs? Did she have like a stroke from it? Does this make sense? No, with, with, uh, she just collapsed. She just collapsed, okay. Okay. She never really did like caravans that much. She, <laughs> <laughs> she didn't really want to leave it that way, though. Um, but she's okay, she's safe and well. I really want you to know that. Um, and thank you for being here. Um, she made it happen. You're more than welcome. I mean, thank you. Leave a love with you. Thank you for letting me in. Not here, no. 
Huh? My brother. Your brother? Yeah. I don't know what it means by that. Is he quite a recent passing? To you. To you. Because his energy is still very up and down, is the best way to describe it. Would he not have been a believer in this in life at all? It's almost like, no, nah. nah. yeah, makes sense. Because, <laughs> again, he's talking about that word, nah. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, I don't think that you have enough faith in yourself, Glenn. This is how this is coming forward, very, very much so with yourself. Um, and it's very much a case of that he just wants you to start believing in yourself a bit more, that you're capable of more than you think that you are. This is really important that he tells you this as well. Okay? And thank you for everything um, that you did for him as well. And he just wants you to know that um, he's okay. He wants to let you all know that he's okay. This is really important that she lets you know that he's okay. You understand I feel quite restricted across my chest with him towards the end of his life, please. He makes me feel as though the only way I can explain it is it feels like a bout across my chest, which is like either heart related or there's difficult through his breathing towards the end of his life, is how he's making me aware of this. No? I'm not sure if I'm moving on from here, not too sure. He is drawing his energy back, but I am going to leave his energy with you. Thank you for working with me and love the lights here. Thank you. Thank you. Your little girl is aware of her, I've got to be honest. We talk about her a lot. Okay. 
because it feels as though, can I ask, is your little girl very, very young still? Yeah, she's two. Okay. I feel as though she's been made aware of her presence, um, of Colette's presence quite a bit recently. And I feel as though, I know you say that you've spoken about your sister with her a lot, but I do feel as though that she's aware of her in spirit form as well, is how she's making yeah. aware of this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? And um, how she's making her this as well. She wants to talk about how, when she's in hospital, she wants to talk about how she's sorry that she that you haven't been able to do the things that you plan to do together. And this is how she's making her of this, okay? But she's so glad that you did it. And this is how she's making her of this as well. She's okay now. She's safe and well. She's very much around you and your little girl. Very, very much so. Don't be surprised if your little girl starts talking about her randomly and talking about seeing her. And um, take this with you and just see if this starts to happen because she's coming up to that perfect sort of age. It's how she's making me aware of this as well. Okay. Understand what she means by this. Does your little girl go up and kiss her grave or something like yeah, this? Do you understand all this? Time. All the time, okay. Because she's I'm literally being shown a vision of has your little girl got like little blonde ringlets or like yeah. this house is made okay. Um every time we take her to the grave there's a photo on the grave and she kisses it every time. Perfect, okay. So this is how she's making me aware of this and she loves this. Um, but I also need you to know. Don't feel so pressured to make sure that you need to go and see her at her grave all the time. This is how she's making her ears. She's not pressured with you. Yeah. Okay? So no pressure. Okay? Yeah, we're trying to go as much as we can, but we don't live as close as we used to, so it's not as easy anymore. I think that's why, she want, child that's why she wants that pressure being lifted off your shoulders in terms of this as well. So unburden yourself with that a little bit. Yeah, okay? Um, but with that, she's starting to draw energy back. Um, she's so happy you were here tonight because she's been so excited about this herself, I've got to be honest. And it's like she's doing like a little jump as she came in. But I do just want to let you know she's okay. I want to send love to the both of you as well. I do need to make you thank aware you. of this, okay? And thank you for working with me and loving life too. Thank you. Thank you. Grandmother figure. Yes. Yeah. It's okay. Thank you. Just need another drink of miles going on. 
You understand with the grandmother link, and um, there was difficulties with dementia or Alzheimer's there because I'm getting a lot of confusion there with her. You understand this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to let you know that she's got all her faculties back, which is fine now. <laughs> to make you aware of this as well. When I say a recent pattern with her, I don't even feel like it's been six months. Does that make sense as well? Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going back to like the first of December. Is how I feel with it. Around that mark. Around that mark. Yeah. Do you know what she's talking to me about a BAFTA? Do <laughs> <laughs> you know what she's talking to me about a BAFTA? Do you understand this? Yeah. 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 Did you win one? Of course. Nominated. <laughs> nominated. That's more than most. <laughs> okay. She's so proud of you. I couldn't, I couldn't even begin to tell you how proud of you she is. Um, you were everything. Okay. She knows how much you've missed her. And she hears you when you talk to her. And she resonates with what I spoke about with my granddad with milestones. And this is when you feel her around you the most. And I just want to let you know that she's with you in every single milestone, no matter how small or big. Okay. You are in trouble selling a place. You are. Okay. Um, or are you thinking about moving? Yeah. You're thinking about moving, okay. To be closer to family? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, she thinks this is a good move. She wants you to stop overthinking it. It's the best way to describe it. And just let yourself move where it feels right for yourself, okay? And stop holding yourself back from your life a little bit. I feel as though you've been holding yourself back a little bit recently. You need to get yourself back out there and how she's making you aware of this as well, okay? Do you work within beauty? Or do you work within, yeah. this is how she's making you aware of it. Is this to do with the BAFTA nomination as well? Yeah. It is, okay. She thinks that you should have won it. <laughs> she pulled every really string she could have possibly pulled, but it just wasn't the right strings. <laughs> okay. She wants to send a lot of love to all of you as well. I do need to make you aware of this as well. Um, but she's been itching to talk to you. <laughs> so she's making you aware of this as well. Um, she wants to let you know that she's okay. Because this is the question that you have that goes round a lot, is, is how she's making all of this. Um, and she just wants you to know that she'll love you forever. Okay? Um, and she'll be here for you for the rest of your life. She'll be ready to meet you in the next. Okay? Thank you for working with me and love and love to you. Thank you. Thank you. Right then guys, I'm just going to go for my interval now, um, so grab yourself a drink at the bar if you want a drink at the bar or some water at the back, um, are you out your stall? The stall will be open for crystals during the interval, um, I will be back in around 15-20 minutes, um, thank you, thank you. I can't lie, I'm just as nervous the second time around. <laughs> Feels a bit like deja vu as well, can't lie. Oh, you've got more water up. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Are, are we all toilet breaked, bar breaked? Because <laughs> it's too late now, you locked it. <laughs> Do the girls have left her. Shall we get straight back into it, shall we? Yeah. I feel like I'm around that area. Um, there's a sister connection stepping forward by the name of Becky. Is how she's making me aware of this. I felt like I was drawn straight to you. Can I come to you, lovely, please? Uh, okay. It's just, it's 
going on? Are you managing all right on camera? I am now. Yeah? You've, you've sorted it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's still up. <laughs> Do you want me to sit down? <laughs> okay. So you understand Becky? Do you also understand that there's been, she's very recent, her passing. I'm only going back about a year since her yes. passing. You understand this? Okay, thank you. I feel like we've just gone past actually our anniversary. We're, we're at the start of this month, do you understand that as well, please? Around the 5th? Yeah. The 5th of March, perfect. Am I actually smack on with the 5th? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> it's not me, I'm the postman, I'm just delivering it. Um, okay, how she's making me aware of it is I understand the cancer condition with her because I'm being shown it. Okay. She was aware of this cancer condition as well, you understand that? Yeah. You also understand I don't know why. You understand Cyprus or Greece or it, do you understand what she's talking about around that area, you understand this. Did she not get to do it or No, no, she was due to get married. It was it in that area that she was due. And then she passed when before she got to bless her. You understand that? She makes me feel pain really low down. It's um, almost like the cervix sort of area. You understand this with her as well. She has a lovely energy. Um, I feel like she felt like the mother figure to everyone, if this makes sense. It's like a real mum. She's got boys as well. No, they're mine. They're yours, okay. And she, she wants to send a lot of love to your boys as well. She's around your boys a lot. she got five children. Okay, because she's making me aware of the five as well. Is there like a September relevant date for her as well? If there's like a celebration? Yeah. Like 16th or? Six. Sixth. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's really annoying. I can't even tell you. That's so annoying. I saw the six and I added a one for some. I don't know why. Um, okay. She wants to send a lot of love. To everybody, if you can, please. It goes without saying. Yeah. Her energy is very excited. So, would she have been a believer in this in life? No. Oh, so it's the opposite. Yeah. Well, she's not. She's believing now. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Has it been a lot of you that come tonight? Um, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, this is actually I'll send a lot of sort of wood guys, so I do want to make you aware of this as well. Okay. You understand that she was suffering for quite a while yeah. with this cancer condition and she makes me feel as though it took a sparkle. You understand this? It yeah. feels like she wants you to know she's got a sparkle back. Okay? She's this smiley, happy, go lucky, bubbly, full of love of just life. She's this person again, and this is something she really needs you to know this, okay? Can you please send all of her love to her kids? Yeah. This is really important, let them know that she's okay, that she's safe and well. I'm very much around them all still. Um, do you feel her around you a lot? I don't know how to explain it, but it's almost like... Um, I don't know how to explain. I almost feel like sometimes you feel like you're going a little bit mad like she's with you. You're not. I need you to know you're not going mad, that she's just with you a lot. You and her are a really strong bond, and this is how she's making me aware of this. And that bond will forever be unbroken, and I just really need you to know this will be okay. You understand? Was she, about, was she 38, or around 38? She was 38, okay. Because. She never wanted to be 40 anyway, so she's like, you know, she said, because 40 is old, and I'm sorry to everyone, by the way. She just said 40. I know, because I'm 30 now and I feel old, so sorry again, everyone. Um, okay. Um, you let balloons off of her, or has somebody let balloons off of her? You're not sure. She wants to talk about balloons. I'm not sure what she means. She's making me feel as though she's received balloons from people. Is how she's making me aware of this. Yeah. 
Yeah, you, you understand that? Yeah. Okay. So she wants to let you know that she doesn't see these as well. Um, she just started to draw her energy back. She loves you so much. Please pass the love on to the rest of the family. You just know she's with you always up there, okay? Thank you for working with me. Don't have to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so easy for daddy's coming. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to need all the tissues. <laughs> okay. You understand dad in spirit, okay, please? Yeah. Are you okay for me to work with you, okay? Yeah. At any point you want me to stop or slow down, you just tell me, okay? It's fine. We're going to take my time with it anyway. Thank you. Um, his energy is still very raw. You understand this yeah. as well? Okay. He's a big rugby man. Is yeah. that what he's <laughs> going to do? Yeah. Um, is he a big rugby fan as massive, well? Massive. Massive. Uh, yeah, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You understand the name of Neil? Yes. Yeah? Okay. The way that he's coming forward, he just wants to wrap his arms around you. You understand the month of August yeah. with his passing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Am I going back to the just his last August? Yeah. Okay. His energy is still, like I say, very raw. Um, I don't know how much you would believe in this, he would have been, I've got to be honest with it. So, it was a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's, you understand the 28th yeah. of August? Is this it's fun? fun? Okay, thank you. Again, he's making me aware of the cancer condition, is how he's making me aware, and this yeah. is the cancer condition that he was aware of yeah. as well. You understand that? Yeah. I feel like I'm going to be really offensive if I say it. That's okay. To him, I mean. Okay. I feel like I want to call him a Buddha, do you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've got my Buddha. He, oh, that was his nickname. He I just said Buddha. I feel really bad for calling no, him a Buddha. No, you're not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was calling him South, but calling him some Yeah, way. I know. <laughs> Especially these big guys, like, bigger than yeah. this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, he couldn't be more proud of you. Okay. He made it his mission when he passed to help you. Are you an author? Yeah. Did you get published soon after he passed? Self published, but I managed to just publish my first one just before he passed. Okay, because he's making me aware of this as well. He couldn't be more proud of you in regards to. Is it children's books or something? Yeah. Children's yeah. books. Okay. Um, he is, honestly. It's a really cringy symbol, I get it a lot. Yeah. But if you imagine fairy dust or falling stars falling around you, it's his way of showering you with love and pride. I'm just seeing it falling all around you, is how he's making okay. you aware of that. You got links to Warsaw. Yeah. You have? Yeah. Have you come from that way? That's where I was born. Oh, that's where you were yeah. born, okay. Did he still live in Warsaw? Um, he used to visit, but he didn't live there anymore, no. He did at one point. There's something to do with the rugby club. Yeah, Warsaw, Warsaw Rugby Club. Yeah, okay. absolutely. He wants to thank everybody at Warsaw Rugby Club. <laughs> does that make sense? It does make sense, yeah. You know it wouldn't be him if he didn't come through and talk about Warsaw Rugby Club. Absolutely, well. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting it. <laughs> okay. I need to come to you as well with him if I can, please. Husband and wife would have been yeah. correct in yeah. saying this as well. Remember, it's your job to look after her now. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. You understand that with him? It's very much. It's his wedding speech. It's speech. Okay. Um, but he knows you're up. Well. And he thanks you for that. Um, you're a wonderful man. And you're a wonderful man for my daughter. Okay? And this is how he's making me aware of this. 
and he wouldn't want his daughter to be with anybody else. Okay? You picked a good one here. <laughs> okay? He knows how much you've really struggled since his passing, both of you, and, and you were very close to him as well, I must yeah. say. And the way that he's making me aware of this is the fact that, that he will never, ever be far from your side. And this is really, unless there's a rugby game on. Then he's no good in you, unless you're there. All right? <laughs> you won't miss rugby for anyone. Even if you remarry, you can't be you get to be a good idea, this and that would be it. Is there something to do? I don't know what it is about Warsaw Rugby Club that he keeps talking about. Was there a big memorial for him or a big yeah. do for him at Warsaw? Yeah. yeah? This is what he means when he wants to thank yeah, everybody. Yeah, that's what I thought. In okay. yeah. He thinks this is wicked, by the way. He thinks this is so <laughs> um, Were you there at the time of passing of it? Pretty much, not quite. Did you literally just leave the room? No, we were going to go to him. Okay. He I was getting you... ready to go to him when I found out he passed. He doesn't want you to feel this burden of guilt that you weren't there at the time of passing because he chose this. He didn't want that to be the final memory that you had of him. Yeah. Of his final breaths. Okay? He yeah. didn't want that to be that last memory that you had of him. He feels guilty for that now, though, because he knows that you, how much you wanted to be there. Yeah. He should feel guilty because he didn't let me see him as well, so when he was, was in hospital. It was his last year, his so attempt. I'm still attempt like reacting. To, yeah, I know what he did. Yeah. You were his little girl that wasn't so little anymore, and this is the only thing he could do to protect you now, and this is how he's making me aware of this, okay? He'll always be with you. He is drawing his energy back from me. Thank you. But when I say say to you that he was stood with you, when I was browsing to see who I was coming to, he was stood right behind you. Okay? Yeah. I'm glad the partition isn't moving, because he was literally right there. But he's just with you always with me. Thank you for working with me. Thank you. I'm going to have to ask because I'm not sure, right? Because I, I found out tonight, doing a mediumship event, right, when there's a big wedding going on, is not easy. Because there's a lot of spirit that go, oh, there's a big thing going on over there. I've got a lot of family going on over there. So I've got to ask because I'm not sure if I'm in here with you, but during a meditation, is there somebody that can connect to a Sandra in spirit? to do with a horse accident, please. Anybody? Anyone? No? Definitely not here. <laughs> I had a feeling, because I were popping in, popping out, popping in, popping out. So I wasn't sure. I, I had a feeling, so we'll leave that one to the wedding. <laughs> so I wasn't sure. Okay. Because <coughs> it'd be really good if I could just go like spirit, right? This is my room. <laughs> Not that, just this. They don't care. They see me and say, ooh, he can see me. Okay. Well, that's unusual. Can anybody take a Robert Whittaker? Can I come to you, please? Okay, thank you. I don't get four names very often. I'm not surprised. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You don't have to stand up, but I think you'll be alright. Will she be alright? Can you see me? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you understand I'm going about in August, time comes passing around, that's sort of August. He's making me aware of August, I'm not sure. I'm going back about five or six years since he's passing around, sort of maybe around 2015 sort of period. Yeah. You understand this with him? Yeah. yeah? Like a brotherly connection. Understand it's your brother. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. 
Now, as I see him, because I literally see him here next to you, do you understand that he's showing me in two periods of life, this is how he's making me aware of this, okay? I'm seeing him towards the end of his life. I'm seeing a big lanyard strip down the middle with hair on the side, this is how he's making me aware of this. A bit like me if I grew it out, put it that way. But then in his younger days, I'm seeing like long curly hair is how I'm making it. Yeah, okay. Almost a little bit like a rocker, a little bit, if this yeah. makes sense. He changed his passport to say rock star. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so Christine here. Uh, Yes. Your sister, okay, so you want to send a lot to Christine as well, so please do send a lot of love that way. <coughs> you understand that in April, like a celebration in April, was it? Yeah. The 8th. It was the 8th of April, yeah. okay, perfect, thank you. <coughs> do you have problems with his breathing towards the end of his life at all? Uh, I feel as though there's a combination of things going on. There's a lot going on, yeah. It makes me feel as though it's almost like his organs are just shutting down one by one is the yeah. best way to describe it to you. Yeah. But he's making me aware of like a really tickly cough that he had for a long while before his passing. Yeah. You understand this? He probably should have gone to the doctors earlier than he did. Yeah. And he's sorry that he didn't listen. But he was quite stubborn, I do feel. And so like, especially when it comes to that. <laughs> okay. Is this the first time that he's come through since his passing? Really no. No? Okay. <laughs> You've met him before. I've met him before. Yeah. You've, you've I've read it, I've connected yeah, with him before. You before. He never came through Robert Whittaker though before. No. <laughs> no. Okay. 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 Um, do you have any problems? He's talking about another gentleman there in spirit. I want to say like Bob with him in spirit. Dad, okay. Um, okay. Are you mother and daughter? Yeah. Because he's talking about Grandad Bob for you as well. Yeah. That's, that's cool to work. Okay. He's been excited about this today, <laughs> as you can imagine. We well, have a conversation about him on the way here. I know it sounds stupid, but like yeah. it, yeah. Um, okay. Um, You've been having difficulties around yourself recently in, in terms of just dealing with life is probably the best way to, to go about it. I just want to let you know that he's supporting you from his side in spirit and I do need you to know this. He steps very closely to you from spirit and I do feel as though you feel him around you a lot of the time now. He doesn't want to be remembered as the guy with the London strip. He didn't actually really like me saying the London strip. I've got to be honest. So I'm sorry, Robert. <laughs> he wants to be remembered as a rock star. <laughs> That's he how he is. wants to be oh, remembered. He yeah. Okay. He had brilliant hair in his younger days. I really did. But he is. He's an infectious sort of character, you know what I mean? I do feel like if you spend too much time with him, you tell him, shut up, yeah. Robert, come on, yeah. shut up. Yeah, but I do want to let you know that he is always with you, will never ever be away from you, and will always be fully connected with you, especially you, lovely. Um, he's very, very connected to you. Um, if brother and sister could be soulmates, you two are soulmates, and that's yeah. how he's making me aware of that. We'll leave us up with you and thank you for working with me. Thank you. Do you understand that Steve, not in spirit, connected to you here? Steve, like a father figure to you, like Steve. Yeah? Would Steve be dad? Stepdad. Stepdad, okay. Where am I? Perfect. I am sweating all of a sudden. <laughs> Don't know why you need that information. So. <laughs> um, okay. So with Steve, um, you understand a brother connection to Steve in the spirit. Do you understand this? Yeah. I want to call him Cricker, or do you understand this? I don't know if it's Chris, but then it's like a surname. It's like a nickname. It's like Cricker almost. Uh, I'm Chris. I'm not too sure about Cricker. But you, you might have to take that. Let me check. Um, well, there's a stepping forward that he wants to send a lot of love to you, first and foremost. Um, 
he knows it took a lot for you to be here tonight as well as I was making aware of this. Um, now I don't feel Steve would be a believer in this, do you understand this? It's almost a case of he has to see something for himself to believe it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He keeps going on about cricket. I can't change that, it sounds like cricket. Probably is. Okay, that's fine. He's making me aware of a January passing with him. Would you be aware of this? Um, I'm not too sure on the exact date, but I think it's around there. Okay. It's almost like you didn't expect him to come through. I hope everyone is having me and making me aware of this. I feel as if it's like a. He wants to say, not as much a coach load there, you know, but I thought I could be in bus load, if, if this makes sense to you, the spirit. Okay. I do feel as though he's been in spirit for quite some time, and this is how he's making you aware of this as well, okay? Um, and I do just want to send a lot of love to Steve. Don't know what I was. Um, so if you can send a lot of love to Steve from him, please do do this. Um, he's literally not going to be here for long, he's popping in, popping out. But he just wants to let Steve know if you can, that he's very much around him at this moment. So, is Steve having troubles with his own health at the moment? Not that I'm aware of. It's nothing serious, but I feel as though he should just get himself, just get himself checked. Okay. Okay? Nothing serious, it's just he needs to stop being stubborn and see a doctor when he actually needs to see a doctor. <laughs> this is how he's making you aware of this as well. I feel as though the 9th of January, around that time, so I'm not expecting you to know that off the top of your head. But take that with you and find out, and if you do find out, let me know, love me, okay? Um, he is drawing the energy back for me. He's done a grandmotherly figure in spirit, so I'll be please. Yeah. Yeah? You understand I feel almost confused with her towards the end of her life. She'll feel as though it's either medication towards the end of her life, but she makes me feel as though I'm not... Not fully with it, if this makes sense, right at the very end of her life, and it made her a little bit frustrated. Does this yeah. make sense, yeah? Do you want to, her energy is just a bit above mine, I'm not able to connect with her fully, but I do want to let you know that she's around you a lot, and she's with you always as well, I just need you to know that, okay, lovely? Um, take that love, thank you for working with me. Thank you, lovely. <laughs> may have to be my last one because my energy I feel like a flat Jurassic on you at the minute. Okay. A grandmother figure by the name of Brenda is stepping forward to me here. Now I feel as though um, Brenda would have been in spirit before this lady may have been born is how she's making her words. And I'm being made aware of Katie. Can I connect with you a little bit, please? <laughs> you understand Brenda, lovely, yeah. in the spirit, yeah? I'm going back to like the late 80s with her. Yeah. Like 1987. Yeah, not, not too sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how she's making me aware of this as well. Um, have you got three children with me? Yeah. You have them. Have you just had a little girl recently in the last couple of years? Yeah. You have? Okay. This little girl is very spiritual. Do need to make you aware of this, okay? <laughs> I call that myself. <laughs> okay, well, there you go, confirmation. <laughs> when I say, have you only had her in the last year or so? Yeah, she's turned one on Thursday. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> So Brenda is very much aware of her, and this is how she's making her aware. Is there a Leo connected as well, so man, please? Yeah, your son. Your son, okay, perfect. Feel as though Leo is a little tornado of the minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you not get the chance to meet Brenda? Did, uh, Brenda passed before you were born? Yeah. Yeah. I do want to let you know that she's very much around you and has been since your birth and is aware of your children as well. Um, you look very like her. You, everybody says that. You yeah. do look. <laughs> as I see her, you like the spitting image of her as yeah. I do see her. She, 
She wants to say she's the oldest here tonight. That's how she's making it like this. Um, and she just wants to let you know that she loves you very much. And even though Leo may be a little tornado, you just can't help but love him, can you? Is actually no. making me wear this as well. Okay. Um, with your, little, your, your youngest girl, yeah. the, the baby that's just not been, not just turned one not long, you're aware of her grabbing at things that aren't there and aware of talking to things that aren't there. Does this make sense? Yeah, well, I've noticed things, but I never thought anything of it. Can't think some of it. <laughs> <laughs> but what I will say with that as well, don't worry, it's just Brenda, it's just your loved ones, the spirit there, very much around your little girl. When I say, and it's not a case of spiritual because we're our age and it's just a little girl and the vibrations are high, I mean, when she's my age, she's probably doing what I'm doing now. Okay? But that's only if she chooses to do that as well. Yeah. So, okay? Well, <laughs> Brenda wants to talk about how just give her space to feel free and be open and just be able to talk to you about anything and everything when she starts talking as she gets older about this sort of thing there as well. Lovely, okay? Yeah. She's extremely proud of you. You need to stop being so blooming hard on yourself about how, how, how much of a job you're doing as a mum. <laughs> because you're a wonderful mum and you're doing a brilliant job and this is what she needs you to know, okay? Yeah. I don't know if Brenda didn't have that natural maternal instinct in life or she didn't show a lot of emotion in life is how she's making me aware of it. She wants to apologise a lot to the people that are still here that didn't know Brenda that didn't have that love from her that they would have liked if this makes sense in life. I feel as though she kept a lot to herself, made her cards very close to her chest a lot of the time, and I feel as though this is how she was in life. You understand that, lovely? Yeah? Okay. She just starts draw energy back for me, but she does draw energy back for me. I want to give her so much love to you, and she loves you so much. I also want to give you a white rose from her, okay? This white rose symbolises love and peace, and she wants to send you that as a gift to you as well, okay? Okay? But thank you for welcoming me. No one liked you, and thank you very much. <laughs> and I think that is me done for the evening, guys. Um, thank you. I just want to say thank you to every single one of you for turning out tonight. Um, I'm sure some of you have come a long way. <laughs> Um, how far have some of you come? Let's see. Can you shout out how far you've come? Where you've come from? Durham. Essex. Essex, Plymouth, Durham, Durham. Birmingham. Birmingham. <laughs> Jesus. And I thought two hours would be M M6 was bad. Well, thank you for turning out, guys. Honestly, you're all amazing. Absolutely, every single one of you. Not. I'm come, sorry, I couldn't get around every single one of you tonight. <laughs> Wedding. Um, <laughs> But honestly, thank you, and even if you didn't receive a message tonight, just know that our loved ones are always with us, always around you, will always be around you, and if they didn't connect with me, it might just not hurt me, fair enough. Um, but no, just know that we're always with you, thank you for being here tonight. Um, when I say that I love every single one of you, I mean I love every single one of you, and I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you lot. I'm very grateful. Um, you know, our spiritual family, I uh, speak for myself and to this and this, um, you're all incredible and if any of you at the moment are going through a tough time and are struggling through life at the moment, just know even though the road may feel uphill, the view from the top will be worth it, okay? So thank you for being here tonight, love and light to every single one of you and God bless, thank you.